Hey guys, Julia Bogner here, and I'm going to take you through about a 20 minute or so yoga practice. So we're going to do a little bit of hatha, traditional hatha, a little bit of vinyasa, just having fun with it. So with yoga, the most important part is to breathe, to be conscious, to be present, and to experience your own body. So there's no right way to do it as far as doing a particular pose to some extent. It's all about how you feel. Some days you feel like you can do more, some days you listen to your body, and the best thing you can do is to do less. So just breathe. If you're breathing, you're doing yoga, right? So we're just going to start with some sun salutations, get your body a little bit warm. So breathing in and out through your nose, ujjayi breath, lips stay touching the whole practice, slow, steady through your mouth the whole time. Ready? Here we go. Take a breath and inhale, reach up. On your exhale, just fold flat back forward. With your inhale, give me a little halfway lift and step back with one foot. Plant that foot, so not a huge step. We're still getting warm, just a little bit of space and you're just gonna inhale and reach. Deep breaths in and out. Good, with your inhale, reach to the sky. And with your exhale, fold your arms back down and step back with your front foot. You can drop to your knees here if you'd like, but we're just gonna take it to Chaturanga. Shoulders forward, turn your toes under and inhale into upward dog. Shoulders down and back. And exhale, knees first or lift up right over your toes, downward facing dog. Very nice. And then go ahead and step the foot that was behind forward now. Flatten your back foot and inhale again to small little warrior one. Shoulders down, when you inhale, reach up. And when you're exhaling, fold. Step your back leg forward and slowly come up. Good, so let's do that a couple more times. Inhale, reach. Flat back, exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, step back with one foot. And inhale, reach. Exhale, fold forward, step back with your front leg. Take it to Chaturanga, knees are okay. Turn your toes under, inhale, upward dog, shoulders away from your ears. Exhale, downward facing dog. And with your next breath, step that leg that was in the back to the front and take a breath, inhale. Exhale, fold forward, step forward with your back leg and roll up. One more time, just like that, inhale, reach. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands, step back. Flatten that foot and inhale, reach. You can go a little deeper this time if you like, getting a little bit warmer on your exhale. Fold forward, step back with that front leg. Chaturanga, toes under, inhale, upward dog, shoulders down and back. Exhale, downward facing dog. With your inhale, send that leg that was in the back to the front, drop your back foot and inhale, reach. And exhale, fold, step your back foot forward and take your time here, roll up slow, one vertebrae at a time. Go ahead and give me a deep breath up. And exhale, your arms right next to you, mountain pose, Tadasana. Just close your eyes, relax your arms, breathe slow through your nose, feeling your body a little bit warmer, your heart beating a little bit faster. This is a great pose to come back to if you need a break. You just need to reconnect with your breath right here. So we're gonna move on to our first pose, crescent moon. Bring your feet all the way together, your toes touching, your heels touching, squeezing. Wall in front of you, wall behind you. You can only move side to side. Bring your hands to prayer. Interlace your fingers, index fingers up and point to the top of the room. Shoulders down. With your inhale, lift up. With your exhale, pull on one hand and let your hip pull the opposite, push the opposite direction. So my hip is to the side of my foot, up and over, an imaginary barrel, lifting up and over. So you're between those two spaces of a wall, two walls, so you don't want your hips back or your chest forward, staying in that space. Keep reaching and pulling with your inhale, lift up. With your exhale, pull it the other direction. Send your hip the opposite direction. Remember those two walls, roll your top shoulder back a little bit. Feeling that stretch on that whole side of your body. Very good, and then an inhale, take it all the way up. And exhale, hands come back to your heart. Good job, take a breath, inhale, reach up. Keep your hands in prayer and just fold forward. Inhale into a halfway lift. And exhale, take a step back with one foot and leave your heel up behind you. So you're gonna inhale and move into a crescent lunge. So my front knee is right over my heel. 
my back leg is completely straight and I want you to push your heel forward so it's over the ball of your foot. Really squeeze that back leg, lift your belly, drop your tailbone and sink into that posture. Good, shoulders down. A lot of times people hips will shift up. You really want to tuck your tailbone and straighten that back leg. Good, keep breathing. From here, we're going to add a little bit of a twist. The opposite arm is going to reach the inside of your foot and rotate your belly into that thigh. Shoulders down, reaching up to the sky. Good. So from here, that front leg is going to move. We're going to transition into a side plank. I want you to just walk this foot over. You can stop right here. This is for more beginners. Or step it all the way back in front of or on top of the other foot. Good. If you'd like, you can bring your foot up to your calf or at your inner thigh. You can grab for your toe if you'd like, going a little bit more advanced. Wherever you are is perfect. Then you're going to take this leg, wherever it is, drop it to the side on the ball of that foot. Take it into wild thing. Reach overhead. Hips up. So one knee is bent. You're on the ball of that foot. That heel is lifted. The other leg is straight on the pinky toe side. One more breath. And good. Look over your shoulders. Step around. High plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. And exhale, downward dog. Nice job, you guys. So just walk your feet out. Relax your head, lift your shoulders. Good job, bend your knees a little bit. Look forward and either tiptoe, you can float up to the top of the mat if you'd like. And bend your knees and slowly roll up. One word right at a time. Ready for the other side, take a breath, inhale, reach. Hands to prayer and fold forward. Inhale into a halfway lift. And exhale, step your other leg back. So watch this knee right in line over your heel. You're pushing off the ball of your back foot and lift both arms up to nice strong crescent lunge again. Shoulders down, belly to your spine, tailbone to the ground, straighten and squeeze your back leg. Shoulders away from your ears and breathe through your nose. Great job. Nice, one more breath here. We're gonna go into that twist. So you're gonna bring the opposite arm to the inside of that opposite foot. Push the floor away, turn into your thigh and twist. Try to stack your arms, keep this hip down and reach up. Nice, deep, strong breaths. Good, so now we're gonna transition into that side plank again. So you're gonna either walk this foot and stop halfway. Here's more of a beginner's version or you keep going. You can go in front of, on top of, right? Or you can go a little bit further, bring that foot up. Or if you're feeling like you got your balance on today, maybe grab for your toe, lifting up through your hips. Good. So now wherever you are, you're gonna bring that leg around to step over your leg, land on the ball of that foot, rotate your hips up, relax your head and reach through your fingertips. Heart up, you're off one heel, the other leg is straight, you're on the pinky toe side of that leg. One more breath in. Beautiful, and then step around with that arm and that leg, high plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. And exhale, we're gonna take it back to child's pose right here. Take your knees wide, sit into your heels, melt your heart. Draw your shoulders back and take some deep breaths. Great job, you guys. Good. So when you're ready, we're gonna take it back up into your downward facing dog. So shift forward, bring your knees in, turn your toes under, and lift your hips up. Good. So pedal your feet out. Getting nice and warm now. You're gonna inhale one leg straight up. Keep your hip down. Push your toes to the upper back corner of the room or wherever you are. Take an inhale. And with your exhale, I want you to bring your knee to the same side shoulder and shift forward. With your inhale, take it straight back up. With your exhale, twist your knee to the opposite shoulder. Shift forward, get all that air out. Inhale back where it was. And exhale straight through the center. Lift at your belly. See if you can bring your foot all the way forward. If you can't, just scooch it up there. That's fine. Drop your back foot flat behind you. 
an inhale into your warrior one. So this is different than crescent. You'll see my foot is flat behind me, yeah? Shoulders down, very good. Take a breath, inhale, reach your fingertips together. Exhale into warrior two. So make sure your inner thigh is pulling back. This hip is pulling back, lengthening through your tailbone. Relax your shoulders. One arm is reaching one way, the other arm equally reaching the other way. Good. So we're gonna extend ourselves forward and reach to the inside of your front foot. If you have the option to stay right here, you can either bring that arm overhead, get a deep stretch there, or if you wanna bind, bring that arm behind you. This arm meets it under, clasp your hands, straighten your arms, let your shoulder roll back and gaze up. Nice, try to relax your toes wherever you are. One more deep breath. If you have that bind, go ahead and extend. Now you're gonna help yourself all the way up. As you come up, don't straighten that front leg. Use your core strength to lift back up into warrior two, into reverse warrior. Keep this knee bent. Crawl down your back leg with that back arm and reach. So what a lot of people do in this pose is they relax into that back leg. I want you to keep your weight shifted forward. Use that back leg to push and get higher. Reach, so sit deep into that front leg. That imaginary barrel is behind you. Now you wanna go up and over it. Okay, so a few more breaths here in reverse again. Bend that front leg, keep your weight shifted forward. Shoulders down. One more inhale and exhale. Relax your toes on an inhale. Lift up out of your waist and swing your arms around. Reach for the ground, going into pigeon. Heel toe that front foot across your mat. Bring your knee to the side. Turn your back toes down, pointed straight back. Don't let your toes go side to side and fold forward. So pigeon, your heel forward is gonna be more of a stretch. Closer to your hip is less of a stretch, but you wanna square your hips off, yeah? So isometrically pull your front thigh back, your back thigh forward, and then melt at your forehead and at your heart. So you have a nice straight line from your hips out the top of your head. And just relax, breathe especially when your hips are really tight. Just try to breathe present. Breathe into the tightness and try to let go a little bit more. We tend to tense up when it stretches really tight. Shoulders away from your head. So the options, if you have more flexibility, drop your head all the way down. You can even reach your arms all the way in front of you. So a couple more breaths here. Good. And then slowly push yourself up. You're gonna let yourself naturally go to the side uh, of your front leg and swing that back leg around just to do an easy seated twist. You wanna drop your foot flat. If this hip lifts and you can't get it back down, go ahead and straighten that bottom leg. Otherwise, both hips are down. Sit up nice and tall. So one hand is your kickstand, right up next to your back. Reach up, press through the back hand. Bring your elbow, if you can, to the other thigh. If not, just grab for it here. If you're a little more flexible, go for your foot too. So with your inhale, you're gonna push with your back hand. With your exhale, you're gonna push your elbow into your thigh, look over your shoulder. So twists are very detoxing, very good for you. Inhale, push the floor away. Exhale, twist, look over your shoulder. Moving with every breath. Two more like that. Inhale, push the floor, get tall. Exhale, twist. One more time. Very nice. And then go ahead and bring it back around. Bring that front foot to the back. Push your hands down, back to that downward facing dog. Very good. So here we go for the other side. Inhale, one leg up, the other leg up. Hips are level with your exhale, shift forward. Bring your knee to the same side shoulder. Exhale, get that air out. With your inhale, send it back. With your exhale, twist. Shoulders come forward, knee to your opposite shoulder. With your inhale, send it back. And with your exhale, bring it all the way forward. Lift up, bring your foot between your hands. If you can't, just scooch it up there. Flatten your back foot, heel to heel alignment. Nice, strong inhale. Virabhadrasana one, warrior one, shoulders down. Relax your toe. Isometrically pull your front hip back, your back hip forward, really nice. Good, take a breath and inhale, reach up. Exhale, take it to warrior two. Good. So on this one, this back hip, you want to pull back. Your inner thigh, open up, lengthen through your tailbone. Shoulders nice and low. Good. 
Very good. So extended triangle. Reach forward, and you're going to bring your fingers to the inside of your foot. Push your arm into your leg. Your leg pushes back. This arm on top can go forward, or you can see the bind better on this side. If you want to, you're going to reach back. Find the other hand. Clasp your hands together. When you straighten your arms, it'll bring your top shoulder back. If you'd like, even look up at the ceiling or the sky, wherever you are. Use long, steady breaths. Good. So if you have that bind, release. Come back where everyone else is, or right here. And then inhale, lifting up out of your hips, right into reverse. Keep your weight forward and reach back. Shoulders down, relax your toes, sit nice and deep. Good. Push away with that back leg. One more breath. And then you're going to bring your arms around. Reach for the floor. Pigeon on this side. Bring your foot to the opposite side of your mat. Drop your knee. Turn your toes straight back behind you. Melt your heart to the floor. Good. So again, isometrically pull your front hip back, your back hip forward. Melt at your heart. So feeling that tightness, breathe through it. It's important to know the difference between pain and discomfort. You don't want to feel pain, but discomfort is okay. Just breathe through it, right? Relax your shoulders. Nice and steady. Good. Let's go one more breath in and out. Very nice. So as you begin to walk your hands in naturally, you're going to shift to the side. Bring your back leg forward, swing it around, step over. Again, extend your bottom leg if your hip is lifted and you can't get it to the ground. If you can, you're just going to sit up nice and tall. Bring your other hand, your kickstand hand behind you, reach up. Exhale, elbow to the outside or your hand or grab for your foot with your exhales. Look over your shoulder. Inhale, push. Exhale, twist. One more breath in and out. Inhale, exhale, twist. And bring it around. Good job. Swing that leg back behind you. Take it back to your downward facing, facing dog. Good. This time, go ahead and walk your hands in towards your feet. Take your feet wide. I just want you to sit in Malasana right here. So feet nice and wide. Crawl your arms forward. Maybe move your legs out once your torso gets by. Hug them back in, feeling that stretch in your lower back. Crawl forward, grip the mat with your fingers, draw your shoulders back, relax your head. Good job, and then walk your hands in. Push your elbows gently into your inner thighs. It's good, so malasana, lengthening through your tailbone, push your elbows into your thighs, your thighs pull back, so you're nice and tall, opening up through your lower back. It's a nice inner thigh stretch. Good job, guys. So from here, hips are open, kind of warm now. We're going to do a pose called Titi Basana. So the way that we do this, you're going to lift your hips. You're going to try to bring your hands back behind your heels and scoot your feet in. If you can, flatten your hands and sit back. Leading back slowly, putting some weight in your hands. Push through your fingertips and then slowly, gradually, see if you can cross your ankles in front of you. You might stay here. You might just use that stretch that I had right before this and stay there for a while. But if you're this far and you want to see if you can go a little bit further, maybe release your feet and straighten your legs out. Yeah? Good job. Go ahead and bring that back. Again, maybe crossing them here. Wherever you are is perfect. Good job. And then you're going to drop your feet, lift your hips, walk your hands in front of you. Very good. Bring your feet all the way together now and drop your knees again. So a little balancing move here. Hands to your heart. And then slowly I want you to drop your knees so that they're angled down. Not collapsing into your heels, lifting up. Angle down so if I was leaning against a wall, my back would be flat on that wall. Shoulders down. Now like there's a string attached to your head, lifting you straight up. You're slowly going to make your way all the way up. Slow, 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 slow. Nice job. Take a breath. Reach up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, walk your arms forward. And step back into your high plank. Take a breath, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, drop to your knees and walk your hands back. 
Gonna do a little back bend here, camel pose. So turn your toes under behind you. Sit up nice and tall. Hips right over your knees. Palms can be down or fingers down or up. If you have more flexibility, you can go up. That's a little bit much right here. So push down into your tailbone, lifting up. Send your heart up and extend the top of your head back. Keep squeezing your hips forward, chest up. So if you want to go a little bit further than this, grab for your heels. Once you have your heels though, you don't get to relax there. You actually have to work harder and pull against your heels to get a nice big stretch through your belly and through your chest. Shoulders down, keep breathing. And one more breath here. And then begin to walk your hands back where they were, sitting up nice and tall, lifting out of your hips. Take a breath, inhale, reach and exhale, hands in front of you. Drop down, cross your feet, and bring them around in front. Great job, you guys. So let's do a little boat here. Shoulders down and back. Reach forward, hug your shoulders back, lean back. So if your heels are down, if you pull them in towards you, you'll sit up nice and high in your sits bones. Shoulders back. If you would like to lift your legs, you can, but make sure you don't fall into this posture. Stay up nice and tall, heels up or down and just do a quick twist to one direction. Keep lifting at your heart, long flat back, and twist over to the other direction. Shoulders down and back, and then take it back to the front. Take an inhale, lift your heart up. Exhale, hands through prayer, interlace your fingers and push down one vertebrae at a time, coming all the way down. Breathe, reach overhead, inhale. Exhale, bring your legs to your chest. Give them a hug, rock side to side. Good. So we're going to end with fish pose. You're going to extend your, you're going to bring your hands under your hips first, and then extend your legs, push up through your elbows. Bring your elbows as close together as you can, strong through your shoulders. Relax your head. Good. So if you'd like, you can drop your head to the floor or let it hover. It's really preference, whatever feels good. Just keep pushing strong through your elbows to lift your heart, kind of a passive back bend, so you don't have to work as hard to get that nice open stretch, opening your heart, opening up through your belly, shoulders away from your ears. Guys, a couple more breaths. Relax your head, strong shoulders, push through your elbows. Now bring your chin towards your chest as you drop down, bend your knees, lift your hips, give yourself one more hug, side to side. Good. And then extend your legs out one at a time. Let your toes flop out, your arms relax. A few breaths here in Shavasana. The reason we do this, right, is Shavasana. So you can choose to stay here for several minutes if you like. Press pause. And when you're ready, we're just going to bring your knees in and roll to one side. Extend your bottom arm out. Relax your head onto your bicep. The other arm can relax on the floor in front of you or just on your thigh. Just taking a few deep, steady breaths here on your side. Good. And then using that top arm, slowly push yourself up. Cross your legs in front of you nice and comfortably. Push yourself forward and take a breath. Reach overhead and exhale your hands back to your heart in prayer position. And just take a moment to thank yourself for choosing to practice yoga knowing that as we integrate body and mind with our practice, you become more at home in your own body, more able to help the world around you. So thank you for your practice. Thank you for your time. Have a great day. Namaste.